Hey, welcome to another Retro Rocha, the moment with me, comedian Jerry Rocha. In this show, I'm going to talk about a moment in gaming that affected me so much that every time I hear Take Me Home Country Roads, I'm thinking Rainbow Road, Mario Kart. And this episode's moment is from one of the greatest anythings ever. Super Mario World for the Super Nintendo. The moment could be any one of the hundreds of thousands of secrets that are scattered throughout the game. The moment could just be playing the game. Any one of the countless fun moments in Super Mario World, oh my god, so many other games would have hung their hat if that was the entire basis of their game. I really think that shitty Mortal Kombat Sub-Zero game would have been amazing if he just had to grab a feather and fly around each level. The moment could have also been just the Forest of Illusion area, which is one of my all-time favorite areas in any video game ever. Maybe one day I'll do a video just about how much I love the Forest of Illusion. Better yet, maybe I could do a video once my girlfriend and I get a house of me trying to convince her to let me turn the backyard into a replica of the Forest of Illusion. Imagine how much better Double Dribble would have been if there was a secret hoop that you had to shoot the ball in in order for the score to count. Imagine how much better the NBA would be if every court had a secret hoop the players had to find in order for the scores to count. Imagine how much better a wake would be if you had to go find the secret dead body of the person who died. The moment could have also been the way the entire world changes if you beat all eight levels of the secret world. The turtle shells turn into Mario masks. The piranha plants turn into pumpkin plants. Princess Peach gets a teardrop tattoo right next to her eye. For me though, the moment had to do with Yoshi. Finding Yoshi was amazing enough when you first did it, but I mean, it happens right off the bat, so it didn't really count as a moment. Who gets that excited about dobbing that little free space in the middle of a bingo card? Imagine someone never found Yoshi playing it. Oh, the game was amazing, but where was this Yoshi dude everyone was talking about? Everything about the character Yoshi was great. From the moment the soundtrack gets all bongo heavy, the minute you hop on top of it... <laughs> to just how much fun and satisfying it is to see Yoshi eat any bullshit that comes in your way. Yoshi was a legend before anyone booted up the game. So much so that the first time I lost him, I was devastated. Okay, I still get a little sad each time I lose the guy. It hurts. Never wanted this. And yeah, Mario could hop on a cape and fly around, but it still wasn't as cool as Yoshi. A friendly dinosaur with a bottomless gut that can shit out mushrooms? It really makes all the dumb things gamers get excited about seem even more stupid. In Grand Theft Auto, you can buy hookers and then like kill them and take your money back. Ooh, you go get him, tough guy. I'm gonna be on a dinosaur that shits out ways to cheat death. I might need to rethink this whole thing and make that the moment. No, 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 I'm happy where I'm at. The moment isn't even about how Yoshi reacts differently to all the shells he eats. Some make him fly, the green ones he just spits out as weapons, the red ones he shoots a Von Erich triple drop kick of fireballs. Maybe I latched onto Yoshi so much because I was an only child. I'd mostly play the game alone, and to me, Yoshi felt like a digital version of Sam Elliott's character in Roadhouse. Every time that egg hatched, I could almost hear Yoshi say, Amigo, let's get a move on. And the big one, the moment for me in this game was when I got to the cheese bridge area. The level's a bit of a mother to get through. You have to ride on this platform that's moving on these different rails while these chainsaw things are coming at you at all times. You have to jump to avoid them in certain parts, and that's also a little tricky, because if you mistime the jump, most likely there's not going to be a ground for Mario to land on. Now here I was at this stage again, but this time I finally had Yoshi with me. Usually if I'd gotten this far with Yoshi, by the time I got to the first little buzzsaw chainsaw thing, it would hit him and he was gone. I can't believe I lost you again, brother. Alone again, naturally. One part of the stage always had me flummox though. I would always get there only with Mario, and it was right past the halfway marker, and I would hit a little question block, and then these little wings would just flutter out, and that was it. Nothing I could do with Mario could ever get a hold of it. Like, what is this? Was it just a prank by the developers? <laughs> Let's see how many times these idiots fall to their death trying to catch these things as Mario. <laughs> right? Dummies. <laughs> I, I died at least 500 times. So then, I finally got to that halfway point with Yoshi. I popped that question block and I thought, you know what, fuck it. Let's see what happens when Yoshi eats these wings. And he did! And something happened! And in a game that had already won me over with all the secrets it had, here was a brand new secret that won me over all over again. Not only did eating the wings as Yoshi shoot you up to a secret part of the level, 
but it turned his ass blue and he could fly all over the stage grabbing all these coins. This secret part had this awesome night sky feel to it and everything was kind of spinning. You're in a dream with your boy Yoshi. It's amazing. The magic spinning world was the only reason I really liked the movie Titanic because when Leonardo DiCaprio and Kate Winslet are like spinning around at that party, I'm like, yeah, I've, I've been there. I did that with Yoshi, Aww. And it would make sense that there would be other ones. Yoshi had buddies. There had to be more than one and there were more. Eventually, I also found a yellow Yoshi that could do an awesome ground attack. Then I found a red one that just anything it would swallow would turn into those three fireballs. But my favorite will always be that first boy blue. The second it ate a shell, it could just fly around that stage. Oh, it was the best. Blue Yoshi will always be my favorite. Some say light purple. I think it depends on your TV at the time. I went blue. All because of that moment. That moment to me added new life to a game that was already teeming with life. And it taught me that while yes, a lot of times life can be bullshit and it can suck, sometimes you're in the middle of having fun and something even more fun happens. And sometimes that more fun can shit out an extra life. All right, Blue Yoshi, we did it. Let's go take all the worlds by storm. You gotta be fucking kidding me. Thank you for watching another Retro Rocha The Moment with me, comedian Jerry Rocha. Please subscribe, hit that bell so you're notified every time a video comes out. Spread the word, all that good shit. Is there a game you want me to talk about? Email me, rocha at retrorocha.com. Have a great rest of the week and see you soon. Mm -hmm.